Good morning, YouTube videoers, video fish tubers, and everyone. <sighs> Cardio day. So um, yesterday we went to Body Power, uh, Sammy and I, and it was my first Body Power. I didn't really know what to expect. I was kind of, well, no, I was expecting um, an exhibition of, you know, various protein powders and fit and buff people and everything. And it was really good and I was really hoping to find some uh, unique product, something a little bit interesting to cover, which I did, donut. Unbelievably, I'm still wearing the makeup from this makeup for, for gym people, which doesn't sweat off or sleep off. I, did, I forgot I had it on when I came home last night, left it on when I went to bed. I know, sorry. Woke up, still got makeup on. So that's, that's pretty impressive. Because yesterday I got quite sweaty. So, um, yeah, so some really good products. But what really, what I didn't expect to come from there, I don't think, although I may have, I may have, if I, so if I did it, reaffirmed it, was what I want from my training, from my future. And it is, without doubt, um, bodybuilding. I hadn't been sure whether I wanted that athletic, sort of CrossFit aesthetic, or uh, bikini girls, you know, the thin, slender, which I didn't think was really an option anyway, or the out-and-out, -out, you know, physique, muscle. And I have no doubt in my mind what I want now, and that's muscle. I, I love that aesthetic and at the Body Power show there are just people walking around, you know, with guns out <laughs> and um, I really, really like the muscular aesthetic so that's what I'm going for, that's, um, which I was anyway so nothing's really changed there but I've decided more than ever having seen, you know, had a smorgasbord of physical attributes on display yesterday, it's definitely the muscular aesthetic that I want to go for. Yeah, so it was a really, really good show. So entertaining. There's a video, um, it's quite a long video. There's um, about an hour of footage I recorded and he did edit all that down. Uh, I was testing some new toys yesterday. I had a new interview microphone, which was really good. Although a couple of times I got the audio again a little bit wrong. So I'm just trying to adjust some of that in, in editing. Um, it's first time out. You know, breaking the rules again, going out with new kit untested. So, yes. Good gadgets, good use of tech yesterday. Took the GH5 out for its first outdoor field trip and my 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 rig, audio gear, microphones, lights, all sorts in one little handheld package. That went really well. So that was fun. So yeah, the um so so on the subject of body power and what I now want, it's gonna it's changing slightly how I'm gonna be training. I may do a little less cardio and a little more strength. Just because I know I'm now absolutely certain what I wanted, and before I, I thought I was certain, even though today's a cardio day, I think I might swap one cardio session in the week out and replace it with a, a physique session. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. I need to speak to my coach. But that's, that's you know, we tune and we tweak. You know, we look for what we want to do next. And also, I'm not sure if I'm going to be competing next year because having seen a lot more of what the standard is, uh, and the fact that I'll be having quite a lot of surgery with, you know, skin and everything, then I'm not sure if next year is now really, you know, it's 12 months and I've got a lot of work to do in 12 months. By the time I get the weight off, stabilise the weight, become a good candidate for surgery, have the surgery, get the tattoos or the scarring, you know, and all of that fixed. That's a big ask to get all that done in 12 months. So I'm thinking now I'm going to be competing in 24 months, which gives me, in about six months' time, my weight will have probably stabilised. I'll be down to where I need to be. And that gives me next year then to, to tune that, to get rid of any excess skin, to um, let the scarring heal, um, you know. So I'll have the, the body I want. It'll just be adding finesse. And all the while I can be working on my physique. I can be training. And then I'm all set then for, you know, January 2019 to go hit the stage.
Also, with, with that in mind, I've been learning to wear high heels, stilettos, in fact. Now, I'm fine in wedges, and I'm fine in, you know, square heels. Stilettos, particularly sandals, oh, they are fun. I, not, and, and I use the word fun there in its loosest, broadest, kind of least accurate sense. Because <laughs> they are so hard to walk in. So I'm just trying to wear heels pretty much everywhere I can, as long as there isn't too much walking involved. I'm very much a you know, car to bar type kind of girl, when it, especially when it comes to these heels. But to be on stage, heels are required, so I need to be as comfortable in them as I am in a pair of old daps. Oh, that's going to be fun. Yes, the road to stage is going to be a wobbly one indeed. You see, I always thought that high, high heels were like five inch heels. Apparently three inch heels are high heels. Who knew? Apparently everyone, apart from me. And we're at the gym, and the sun is shining, and it's probably going to suck a bit. Lukey Luke is here, my coach. Alrighty, time to get my sweaty belly on. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, everybody. My car is misting up. Where's my aircon? So, once again, ruined my 5k time. Get in! I'm um, feeling good about that, I'll be honest. I am... Um, I've just pushed my pit my pace up to a new average pace, minute on, minute off. And then I managed five, six minutes at my speed pace as a finisher. My heart rate got over 200, I'll be honest. I was breathing up my ass, kind of gassed at the end. But um, I felt I, I had a, 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 I didn't hit, actually didn't actually hit 5k today. I only did 40 minutes. But I was just under 5k in 40 minutes. So I think I'm going to switch now to on the treadmill. Rather than a time, I'm going to go for a thing called marathon mode where you... Um, you put in your distance rather than the time and you just try and be, you know do that distance faster really happy with that i'm not feeling at all worried about the 10k runs coming up in the air with the filthy girl and the disney 10k at disney world yeah i'm gonna have no trouble with those even at this pace i've got that i've so got these now <sighs> you know it's um i know i go on about coaching and self-belief and all the sort of psychology behind getting into shape and weight loss and I have a coach, I have several, you know, uh, take advice from anyone, L just listen, you, don't, you, haven't got, you, haven't got to, you haven't got to follow the advice, but take it, you know, get as much information as you can. It's kind of a, I've noticed a lot of people want someone to do the work for them, and I don't mean that they actually expect that, but when you, we're used to having a service, we're used to consuming services as turnkey items, in the society we live in, it's instant gratification, you buy Sky, and then all you have to do is watch Sky. The, 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 you know, you haven't got to make the shows yourself. Or you buy a book, or you buy a meal, and then you eat it. It's not like you have to prepare the meal, or, you know, you just buy it and then cook it in, in the microwave, and then it's done, it's ready to consume. And so, I think in in fitness, and you kind of see this in the marketing for bullshit items, um, you know, at three o'clock in the morning, turn the TV on, you will see a ab machine stroke, um, glute machine stroke pipe rack slipper holder some sort of i i and I, I, I don't know you gotta watch your credit cards because for some reason at three in the morning this seems really appealing but we have this we have this um we're always looking for that instant thing that we buy it and that's it we're done but weight loss isn't like that you can buy advice and you can buy all the gym gear and you can buy your gym membership and you can know everything but you still have to do it. You still have to train. You have to eat well. You, you know, it, this isn't instant gratification. This isn't turnkey with, with gym gear. There's no such thing as buying a new pair of trainers and a week later you can run a marathon. All these things just help. There's nothing you can buy to do it for you. Even with the, the bariatric surgery, even with the mini gastric bypass I've had, which is quite literally the best, most sophisticated, most modern weight loss procedure money can buy, I still have to make sensible food choices. I still have to eat cleanly. Plenty of protein, low fats, low sugars. I still have to train 10 plus hours a week to get where I want. You know, even even with that procedure, all that does is reduce the amount of calories you can consume. Ultimately, it won't make you buff. It won't. You could, it'll help you lose weight, but then you'll just be, you know, fat thin, where you're you're you're, you're really slender, but you've got no strength or physique or aesthetic. So there's nothing, you know, 
and and and, and like and, and we're so we've got to stop looking for that buy the thing and then you fit that that that's that, that doesn't exist in this industry it's like buying music lessons or buying anything that you, you know it's not an instant fix you have to do the thing i think i've made that point quite a few times now with that in mind even when you know that it still takes a while to absorb you're still always looking for that easy way out i i am i always have been but and it simply doesn't ex exist and it takes a while to come to that realization that it's not just about being a member of the gym it's not just about buying the gear that's just an accessory the you can do the weight loss thing and the fitness as a, you know like 80 percent as well as any gym and coach in your living room with a step and some kettlebells you know so uh, i think it's important to make that mental commitment that it doesn't matter what gear you have or what coaching you have you still have to do it you 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 it's all about you which seems really obvious when i'm saying it out loud and yet at the back of my mind i still see the abomatic 6000 at 3am on QVC and think oh that's what I want that'll sort my abs out in, a, in five minutes even when you know it's marketing bullshit we're still susceptible to it so um, and of course marketing does that that's what that's what sales and marketing do walking around body power yesterday there was so much nonsense there there was so much you know um, protein powders are advertised with buff people on the front as if you buy that you will become buff <laughs> it's it's just it's just marketing and uh, we've become very 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 tuned to buying into the story of the products that are on sale and because so many of our pro products and so many of our purchases are instant fixes we, we think everything is like that and fitness is not as the sweat will attest so um would you i want to just leave some comments about this would you guys be interested in seeing my 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 diet my food diary what i eat i think that could work something that we were talking about at body power yesterday because there were loads of really interesting food supplements there's um there seems to be a bit of a trend at the moment away from just supplementation and protein shakes to the same kind of macro the same sort of protein high protein and healthy and low fats and sugars but in meals you know and, and there are quite a few companies selling um, you know protein donuts and protein cheesecake and protein cookies and protein meals so I'm thinking maybe it would be fun to do a um, like a come dine with me thing but with, 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 with protein foods I think that'd be really fun I might get some some friends muscly friends and chubby friends and all my friends to do a come dine with me I think that'd be good and we can test all these different uh, food versions of supplements watch this space and if you've got any comments, if there's anything you'd like to see us do, then uh, drop them drop them in the comment section below. Well, here we are, back at base. Uh, what can I say? A good sweaty cardio session today? Uh, feeling good. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Please keep liking, commenting, subscribing, and liking. It's all good. And I will see you next time on Cutting the Caboose. That sounds really cheesy when I say it like that, doesn't it? I need a catchphrase. Tim Tracker's got a cool one. And now it's time to pay the price. But I can't use that because that's Tim Trackers. I need a catchphrase to sign off my videos. See you later, Bill and Ted.